in my practice, I more and more work with people who seem to share one common problem. Their fasted morning glucose level stays high, although if they are on a low carb diet or on a ketogenic diet, they mostly are in a caloric deficit and it doesn't seem to work. So they still see glucose numbers, you know, above 100 most of the time. And it's frustrating. They do everything they can. They are super strict with their diet and it still doesn't seem to lower their glucose, which is needed in order to lose weight. And there are only two explanations. Number one, stress. Like stress at work, stress uh, in a relationship, not sleeping well, training too hard, everything that is a load on your body. And number two is insulin resistance. And specifically, insulin resistance of the liver. So what that means is that your liver can't see that there's enough free energy in your bloodstream because glucose is nothing else than freely available energy. But since the liver doesn't see that, it keeps creating new glucose from proteins, from glycerol, from pyruvate, from lactate, from all these substrates. And it converts it to glucose through a process called gluconeogenesis. So the solution, if you measure constant higher glucose levels in the morning, although you're not eating a lot of carbs or no carbs at all, is to address the stress, if you have any in your life, or we have to fix the insulin resistance of the liver. And how can you do that? And this is very interesting. So research shows that limiting carbohydrates or even not eating carbohydrates or caloric restriction, it can lower body weight over time. However, it doesn't seem to lower insulin resistance. One thing you can do to overcome uh, this insulin resistance of your liver, and it's called fasting. So I find this fascinating. While being in a caloric deficit obviously doesn't seem to lower, to lower uh, the insulin resistance, not eating at all seems to work. I just want you to know that there's a tool out there that could help in your case to lower a chronically elevated blood glucose level in the morning. And I personally did a fast. I'm on my fourth day of not eating. I'm not insulin resistant. So the numbers I had this morning was glucose levels at 65 and ketone levels at 1.5 or 1.6. I can't remember exactly. So these are the numbers that you know you can expect to see if you're not insulin resistant. I just had uh, mostly two black coffees per day, two or three cups of bone broth, and the rest was entirely water. I never did a fast before, so I was quite excited and couldn't wait to see what would happen. And I have to say, hunger wasn't a problem. I wasn't hungry at all, but I most certainly went through uh, what we call the carb flu. So I had symptoms like headaches, uh, brain fog, uh, I couldn't sleep well, things like that. I'm going to eat tonight because my wife's sister is here. So it's her last night and I'm going to join them for dinner. But I'm planning to only eat dinner today and dinner tomorrow and then go back on not eating at all. I lost weight like crazy so during those four days I lost seven pounds and I'm aware that most of that is water weight but still I expect that there was two or 2.5 pounds of fat that I lost. So it really seems to be a powerful tool in order to lose weight beside fixing an insulin resistance. If you have questions, leave comments below and I'll see you next time.